So I haven't opened up this black box before. I'm going to do it right here with you guys on camera. This looks like some sort of a wire harness clip. Looks like there are some torque screws on the inside here. There also appears to be sort of a top. All right, so we're gonna try to open this up. I'm gonna try to bring you guys even closer. Okay, so I'm gonna chop off, it's probably some sort of a warranty thing, void of cut, right? Do not cut, cut type of warnings, which we will, it's the first thing we get rid of. Just gonna try to peel one back and see. I just did that to see if there's anything hiding underneath it. It would really be embarrassing if there was a screw underneath that that I can't on, that I don't know about. So I think there's two screws on top. And again, I'm not going to tell you what screws these are. I'm not going to say this is a Torx T20. And I put heat shrink on the shaft of this screwdriver. So that if I was, if it was to fall or if I was to accidentally um, bridge some electronic components, I wouldn't short them out or zap myself. So it's a little trick I came up with to make it a little bit more safer. All right, so I removed those off the top. Okay, so I undid the two screws on the top, and unless I'm a moron and I have no idea how to lift the top off, that did nothing. So I'm going to continue and undo some more screws that are on the back side here. It's probably really hard to see. One here in the middle. So how does this thing come apart? So of course there are some clips in the front here. Like right there. Where is my finger at? Okay, great. Let's get these off. Uh -huh. How in the world? This is not gonna be pretty. So there's three clips there. Of course, there's one over here on the side. So if you have, if you have three hands, this is super easy. All right. 
There we go. So there we have stuff. Look at all that stuff. It's probably upside down. That there may be a resistor of sorts, and that's for the pre-charge circuit. I'm guessing a relay. And then this, these guys here have to be the contactors. So one of the reasons we can't use this in its OEM form is that BMW decided to add complexity. Okay, and what I mean by that is that this isn't just a, uh, a relay or a uh, contactor. It's, it's much more than that. It has circuit boards on here and controllers, and it has some sort of logic on it. So we need to uh, get rid of that and basically bypass it and just dumb it down. and make it a simple uh, pre-charge circuit. Okay, so continuing on, I'm going to try to remove this top circuit board and see what happens. Looks like it's held on with four screws. Super. So it does that. It pops up. Yay. And we see there's some sort of a plastic spacer gizmotron here. That's what came out of it. Great. And then you can see another circuit board below it. Super. Absolutely no idea, no clue what's happening here. But we keep going. So that sort of did nothing. There is one big screw on this side. And I think that is probably attached. So after removing this screw here, now I think I might have to do something with these two. That to me looks like maybe some sort of a uh, shunt. For measuring current, again, I don't know. Okay, we got wig ability.
I'm thinking I probably need to snip this plastic. Where is it? I think I'm going to snip that. Because why not? Okay. Now, looks like I can lift this off. All right, so it looks like it's kind of looped around this guy, so I'm going to just unplug it so that we can maneuver around it here just like so. Okay, I'll put it back on because I don't want to, I want to know where they go. All right, so that's interesting. We're getting deeper in there. Now we can kind of see the bus bars here. And I wish I did some homework, but I don't even know where to go. Open inverter, I guess, to find out which, uh, which contactor is which. Um, I, this here appears to be negative. So this right, this here is where the negative cable from the battery from number one hooked into, okay? Um, if we were to be looking at this the way it sat in a battery pack, so right now, it would have been like this, and the battery pack being out here, like I'm standing inside where the battery is. I think that's how it was mounted. And so, um, number one negative ran here and all the way to number one that way. And then the positive was here from the battery. So, uh, we can see more goodness. I believe, let's see if you guys can see that in there. Um, see there's an orange type of cylinder inside there. Right in there. I believe that's a big fuse. I'm wondering if I need to unscrew those to take that off. Well, it seems like it should be a lot easier to remove that fuse and get to it than undoing bars. Let me keep going. I don't think we need this piece for a DIY, uh, for a DIY pre-charge circuit. I don't think I need this circuit board module section piece. So you can see there's connectors on here. So I'm really good at unplugging things. Um, not so good at plugging them back in. So wow, okay. There it is, we liberated that. Perfect. And this is the stuff that's left. I think now all we have is what I would kind of call mechanical stuff. I still don't know what everything is in here. Um, this is some sort of a resistor, a relay. This, I think, is a contactor here. I be positive, I might be having totally backwards. So then this one here 
would be the other one. Right here is the battery positive, right here. But then I think that goes to the fuse and wherever the heck the fuse goes. And then here, this guy right there, is the battery negative. Okay, that's this guy. I want to take out some more stuff just so that we can um, kind of understand what's what. So I am going to free up this resistor. Yeah. So again, that's <laughs> again. You know, this is such a high techish piece of German engineering, but then this piece is held in with a a zip tie, and some of you may say. Well, what's wrong with that? I mean, how else are you going to bolt it on there? I don't know. I mean, they figured out all this other stuff. They can't figure out how to um, hold down a resistor. Wow, that thing was on there really good. So, you can see where it screws on to a bus bar here. So I'm going to try to loosen that one up as well. Okay, so that there is a resistor of some spec. So now this one here this one here goes to the relay. So I'm going to show that to the camera so that I have a better chance of watching my own video later and putting us back together. Maybe. Okay, so we got a resistor out with some cabling on it, some wires on it, and we got a relay out. Actually, so far only we're getting all the components out that I know what they are and what I know what they do. So another look. There's a wire here. This looks like probably some sort of a sensing wire. It can't pass, possibly run much current on. I think I'm going to go after this bus bar next. Okay, so here we have it, a bus bar, essentially a hunk of metal. 
And that one was kind of confusing because the way it goes, it lays, it would lay on top of this um, here, which I think is another contactor. Let me see if I can get this thing out. Okay, so I'm trying to go after this piece here. I think that's a contactor. And uh, I may need to unscrew this bus bar first. Right there. I'm trying to do this so that it also shows up on camera and it's tough. and. Okay, so <coughs> more stuff in the way. Okay, so I just disconnected this piece here. Hopefully I can remember where that went. And this now freed up another piece of harness. I'm trying to get this guy out right here. I don't think this bus bar here, I don't think that's holding it in, but I'll try to remove it just for the heck of it. And that goes to the fuse, I think. That didn't get us anywhere. Um, this, there's a, another zip tie there. I'm going to snip it. These wires go to that front connector. All right, well, let's move to the other side. Let's just keep going and see what we can get out. So there's a bus bar here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that. When I undid the four screws in the front, these guys, the front comes off and now we can see that fuse see that four hundred fifty volts three hundred fifty amps pretty cool stuff it was like this So now this piece comes out. So I'm going to have to look this up. Panasonic AEV 14012M25. So 
So we unhook it, and there we have it. Okay, so this connects. I'm gonna have to remember probably that there's this gray one and it goes to the contactor that I just took out. And then there is this blue one and it goes to this one. Okay. So this is again for the front. And this probably gave it power and it also probably ran some sort of a communication as well. So I want to have this semi-logically laid out here. so that we can keep going. Okay, so a bus bar here. So this is the second bus bar. This was the first one. And then actually there's bus bars on this contactor here. So I'm going to remove them just to be complete and complete disassembly. So here it is, this is the, God, this just sucks with gloves on. I mean, who cares about safety? Okay, so we got two things left. I've got the fuse and another contactor here. surprised if this guy comes out. I know that there's a screw here. I'll be really surprised if this guy comes out just the way it's installed here because there's a bus bar going to this fuse but oh wow that's really cool. So this guy is out. The one that went to the fuse I assume that's positive. That's got to be the positive one. So these contactors are identical. AEV14012, uh, which I assume is a part number, made in Japan. So even Germans use Japanese precision parts. Pretty cool, pretty impressive. But those are identical. We are left with just the fuse and two bus bars on that and I'm going to take that off as well just at this point for the hell of it. And 
I'm too lazy to go in a garage and get a ratchet, so here we go. Oh, wow, there's some sort of a fuzz there. Okay, so there's a bus bar here. Bus bar for the other side of the fuse. And the fuse is out. And that's that. We totally did it. We totally took this thing apart. And by we, I mean me and uh, my buddy DeWalt here. DeWalter White. We know what's in here now. Two contactors, a fuse, a resistor, a relay, a bunch of bus bars, a wiring harness. I don't think we're going to be using a circus board, as I call it. Can this come out further? spirit of taking everything completely apart oh wow look at that actually this is weird it's actually bendy they must have copied the new I don't know if it's the iPhone or the new Androids you know the flip phones it's, this is flip circuit board design how freaking cool is that but Oh, and this here, I think this is a shunt, a uh, current sensing shunt. And how is it attached? Huh. Well, interesting. That's that, folks. <laughs>